tutto e riuscire a prendere quel cuore da farlo emozionare Lasciarlo poi parlare Eppur non lo so dire, non trovo le parole che scrivano i ricordi e le paure Di chi vorrebbe vivere ogni istante per cantare Ma quando sento un brivido Non lo so dire 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 a scegliere le parole per scrivere distanti che sembrano parlare eppur non lo so dire vorrei prendere l'amore poterlo trasformare nel puro sentimento che sembravi a decantare ok We are in Arkansas along I-40. They just shut the highway down, so I was gonna give everybody a heads up. I just, we just went down to talk with the fire department on the corner. Moralton, Arkansas on I-40. They have traffic, the highway completely blocked at this exit. There's a Loves there and a little mom and pop truck stop, which we're sitting at. According to the fire department on the corner, they said there is a really bad accident and the highway is completely blocked at least going westbound um i think eastbound side is fine from what it looks like i still see a lot of traffic going eastbound if you are going westbound anywhere near moralton it is at exit 107 westbound on i-40 is where they are routing traffic off according to fire department if you go south and catch uh, 64 just south of here from the exit you should be able to bypass the accident on 64. So just a heads up to everybody if you are traveling along I-40 westbound today in Arkansas. All right, I got a view of downtown, whatever town this is. <laughs> hey, this wasn't my ideals of where to move to. There you go. There's big happy birthday. Big 64th happy birthday to Dale Dipsmeyer. Dale, Brittany, and Pink wish you a very happy 64th birthday. <laughs> got the red light going tonight <laughs> so one thing that's really nice about being bobtail is we can PC yes at RTI RTI has a restriction we cannot PC with the trailer like whatsoever I don't know where the law stands on that as far as DOT but it's an RTI policy but whenever we're bobtail which we are and taking our 34 we are allowed to PC to like shopping or whatever. But anyway, we're getting ready to run into town. There's a Walmart with, um, that doesn't mind if trucks park there as long as it's temporary just to shop and get out. So we're gonna head down there and come back and then get some sleep. And tomorrow I, we're supposed to have another load going back to Kentucky. So thank you RTI, you're doing an amazing job at routing us um, in network 
throughout the country. So, and keeping us moving. Let's go get some food. Idiot. Oh, this must be the shutdown sign. Yeah. Guys, this is a time to shop, especially in small towns. Hey, we could park by the pink clothing thing. That's not in <laughs> Donations. Donations. Nation. <laughs> no, seriously though, guys, this is like the time to shop especially in a small town at a Walmart Supercenter, they're open all night. You got the place to yourself, practically. Half of these cars are employees. Yeah. Thank you, Sam Walton. Perfect. And in case you ever wondered, a semi-tractor takes up four spaces. Yes, exactly four. If you want to leave a little bit of buffer space for people to get around. It's huge. Oh my God. It's huge. I'm not even going to try with that. <laughs> what is it, 10 feet tall? That's got to be as tall as like the shelves and everything. Good morning, yo. So we just got our hours back, finished our pre-trip, and we're and getting ready to get en route to get our empty trailer because we have a live load this morning that is going back to Kentucky. And we just looked at the weather because it is raining outside right now. And we didn't realize there is now a winter storm. How quick the weather could change. I just checked the weather the other day and it was showing like sunny all week. And that's all changed. Apparently a winter storm has crept in overnight, the way you told me about. So we are, we had a couple pretty tight loads. The fastest way would be to go up I-44, which is right into the middle of the storm. I can try to detour around it, but I have to go way out of route and I have some really tight loads, which is good. But if I go the other way, I'm gonna lose a whole bunch of miles, lose a whole bunch of money on fuel, and possibly endanger the next load. So the quickest way is just to stay on the highway and go through the winter storm, <laughs> which I'm not necessarily looking forward to. We just stopped at Lowe's and Jordan is running in real fast to see if we can find some ice melt. We stopped at, well, or not ice melt, it's called, I think it's called ice. It's what the tow truck driver used in the ice storm to get people unstuck and it's literally like mix up it's kind of like the floor dry stuff that it soaks up oil it's something like that but it's um it's supposed to be like a mix of basically a mix of like kitty litter sand and like different things i don't know what all's in there but it's supposed to be some mix that's really good for getting traction if you're stuck on the snow or ice so um we tried to look at Walmart, Walmart didn't have it. Of course, we are in Oklahoma. They don't really get snow this deep deep south very often. So, um, yeah, everywhere we went doesn't have it. So we found a Lowe's that happened to be right next to the our live load and Jordan's running in real fast to go see if he can find us some ice so that we can stay rolling in the ice and hopefully get our loads done today. So that's what we're up to. So I went in and of course immediately tried to ask someone. There was one guy literally just sitting there and I asked him, where's, uh, do you guys uh, have salt melt or ice melt and things like that? He's like, there's a pallet in the middle aisle. And usually like Home Depot, they'll like walk you to it so you don't miss it. Right. And try to help. This guy just sat there laying, laying on the car like, he's down the aisle. And there's an older guy, I'm like, you know what, maybe he has problems, or bike back problems and all that. Let it go. So the guy, like, oh, okay, cool, 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 whatever. So I go check there, and it's just salt. That's all it is, salt. Salt, that's and it. I'm like, that's not going to work. So I go, okay, I ask someone else, and they're like, yeah, he's kind of lazy. This guy, bad enough, is walking me a whole way around the store, checking these different locations, mm -hmm. and he has a limp in his leg, so I definitely feel bad. And then it gets to a point where a manager gets called. 
And then he's like, well, we sell to a uh, company that uses this all the time. And they said it worked for parking lots. I was like, it's not going to get an 80,000 pound truck out of a parking lot. He's like, why won't it? Because it doesn't help for traction. He's like, well, my people use it and they, and they love it. And they sit there and we use it for our parking lots too. Yeah, the tow truck driver even said, don't use salt, use... Mm -hmm. Hit that sand mixture stuff he's got. Yeah, because that actually works with the magnesium and everything else in there. It actually works and kicks in. But they just want, the manager just want to argue with me, like, no, 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 this works. I'm like, okay, whatever. And so I, I'm leaving and I'm like, I'm curious. I, I walked back uh, where he was and I was like, you guys do realize Home Depot carries this. Why don't you guys? He's like, to be honest, you need to ask the manager. The manager I just talked to just told me. What? I don't know, dude. You have to ask the manager. <laughs> I'm not happy with this Lowe's. Um, it could be different for other Lowe's, but this one I do not like. So as you guys have seen, we've been doing some of these rel relay loads. That's one thing is we're known to RTI. Like the word has gotten out because we've helped so many different departments with RTI. The word has gotten out like call Brittany because she can help. And it's actually a good thing with this company because RTI covers you. Like I don't know how many times they're like, we'll throw extra on this trip just to cover your time. Or if there's a little sit time in between having to do a relay, ah, don't worry, we'll stack on some extra pay. And I'm not the only one before you start thinking Brittany is special because I talk to so many drivers and they're telling me the same stories. Like their DMs, like, don't worry, we're if you'll do this to help us out, we'll cover you. Love RTI. So we've been doing a lot of these relay loads going down to Muskogee, Oklahoma, and then back around St. Louis. So after messing with our weight on these loads, by the time we get up, headed back to Kentucky, which we go through St. Louis and hit 64, and we usually end up running out of hours about at the Flying J that's along the bypass, 270, 255 bypass, and in, in Allerton, 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 Illinois, however you say that, I've had many of you guys warn me about, warn us about that location saying, there's a reason that there's usually parking there. It is super high crime and you know, there's sketchy people around. So I've had some warning messages from you guys as a heads up. 
and honestly we hadn't had a problem it seems like a really nice spot until the other night when somebody came knocking at our door literally in the middle of the night literally they approached a pink truck in the middle of the night knocking at the door <laughs> they were not up to no good so um saying they wanted food and things like that and we ended up giving them like a can of soup and some, some Reese's pieces or something like that but mainly just to get them away from the freaking doors so that we could go to bed so I've noticed if you don't get a reserve spot there like right on the front row that is in view of the door the main entrance door and the fuel pumps then you will end up getting people knocking on your door and we did notice a lot of people like walking around the parking lot the cops were constantly there which was actually a good thing helped me feel a little bit better because they had undercover cops and um uniformed officers and everything constantly stopping in and out of that place so it was that was a nice thing <laughs> but anyway just a heads up if you do stop at that location I didn't feel overly uncomfortable, but it's a place you definitely have to watch your back and um, you definitely want to either get a reserve spot up front or, in my opinion, keep going kind of thing because the Pilot Flying J there did not have their own security and usually the Pilot Flying J's at the high crime areas had armed security. I know the one in, Tac the one in um, Atlanta, Georgia, that one with the really long crazy parking situation they had two two armed officers at all times and a patrol car like a full police car so places like that cool great thing you know good job flying jay but this one didn't so anyway just a heads up we'll try your tip <laughs> watch your back keep your head on a swivel be safe out there love you guys